In this video, I'll be working through the question you can see on the screen from the Cambridge A-Level Maths Paper 1. Specifically, it's Paper 1-1 from the Winter Exams in 2023. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist with all the questions below this video. I'm doing this on a whiteboard. Hopefully, it'll be like you're used to your teacher doing. And if you do find this or any of my other videos useful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you like, subscribe, or even share it with a friend that's doing the exam this year or next. In question 11, we're given a, a drawing of this circle with two tangents to it. We're given the equation of the circle, and we're also told that um, each tangent, they're parallel, and they both have a gradient of one, so a slope of one. And they ask us to find uh, the equation of the line AB, which is this line from here to here. Um, now this is tricky in the sense that, well, the part that you might get stuck on here is, hopefully you notice that the slope of this is equal to the part, it's um, perpendicular to this slope, so it's minus one. But uh, you might be lost on what point to use. Don't know what A is, we don't know what B is. It'd be quite difficult to find A and B without noticing the trick here. And uh, the trick is, it goes through the point, the center point. So that might be something a lot of you missed. Uh, so what is this center point? We can get it from here. It is a uh, four minus one. It's just from here and here. In fact, uh, yeah, they, there's actually this is drawn on as well uh, it's a little off my screen uh, but it's the axis is somewhere here it's plus, uh, minus one okay so it's somewhere like that so it actually helps you to see that oh cause what i'm trying to say is a lot of students mix up the signs here the minus and the plus when do you change it when do you not hopefully the the axis here help that it's it's a plus four and it's a minus one. Anyway, we now have a slope and we have a point. Should be straightforward to find the equation. I'll do it down here. Uh, I'll do it like this. Y is equal to mx. Well, sorry. Y is equal to mx and we know m. So y is equal to minus one x plus c. That's the equation. We're just missing c. But we also know x and y at, at a certain point. So we go minus one is equal to minus four, four times minus one plus C. Uh, that means C is equal to three. So just write the answer again, write this top line again. Y is equal to minus X plus three. Okay, sorry, I had to stop there just to double check I'd answered all of A, but yeah, that's all of answered A. Uh, the big trick there was to notice that the, you needed the center. If you miss that, oh, you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna to have to try and equate uh, lines that you didn't know fully about with a circle. It would have been a mess. Anyway, uh, part B. Oh, uh, let me just one second say, uh, if you ever don't know something and you're like, oh, I need a point and I don't know it. It's not great, but you can just make it up. You'll lose lots of marks, but it might be better than getting nothing for trying nothing. Uh, just. Like use the image uh, on the thing and say, oh, the center would be around here, or maybe A would be roughly minus one, four or something. Uh, just make up a point if you have to. You will then get attempt marks going forward. It'll throw everything off, it's not ideal. Anyway, that's how you should do that. Uh, so part B, uh, find the coordinates of A, given that each coordinate is in third form. Uh, so basically just find A. And they give you a hint that the answer will have lots of square roots in it. Still, let's just find A. We have an equation of a line here, goes through A. This line goes through A. We have an equation of a circle, also goes through A. So the trick here is to equate this line with this circle. So let's put them together. There's the Y equals is here. There's no Y equals here. Um, so it'd be easiest to put, instead of this Y, if we put this in here. That'll put them together. So this line uh, becomes x minus 4 squared plus, instead of y, I'm going to put in minus x plus 3 plus 1, so plus 4. That squared equals uh, 40. 
Um, at this point, you could square this out. Squ Actually, let me do that. Uh, I'll square it, but yeah, I'll, I'll do this. I'll leave a bit of room because there's a trickier, a better way to do this. Uh, square this out, we'd get x squared. We'd get x squared, so that'd be 2x squared. And let's see, we get minus 4x, another minus 8, minus 8x. We would get minus 4, minus 4, minus 8x here. So in total, we get minus 16x's. We'd get plus 16 here, and we get plus 16 here. So that's plus 32 equals 40. Uh, hopefully you noticed something there. We kept getting the same thing. I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, we'll clean this up, move this up. Well, let me just do it in, oh no, a new line. 2x squared minus 16x uh, minus eight equals zero. Quadratic equation, you can't factorize it. The two comes out fine, but uh, it doesn't factorize easy. You're gonna have to use the minus b formula and you will get the answer you're looking for. That This way will work, that's fine. There was a trickier way to here though. Um, let's see, x minus four, x squared uh, plus, if we took a minus out here, x minus four, and all of this is squared. These now, so minus squared becomes a plus, that just disappears in the square. So we just have uh, four, uh, four minus x squared, four minus x squared equals 40. This is two, X, X, sorry, x minus four, I should have said. x minus four squared equals 40. We can solve this without a minus b formula. Um, there's only one square here, it's not all tangled. We can solve it from here, and I'll do that over here. I'm just coming from this line here. Again, you could use the minus b formula and get an answer. It'll be the same as we get up here. Solve this, two divides both sides we get x minus four squared is equal to 20. Uh, square root both sides. x minus four is equal to plus or minus square root of 20. Uh, x is equal to four plus or minus square root of 20. There's two answers for x. We would have got the same two answers here, um, but it's also now important to note, we want the smaller x. We want the x that's probably a minus, um, so we don't want four plus 20. That would be this x here. So we do want x is equal to four minus square root of 20. You can also write this as, um, let's see, four comes out, turns into a two. So you could write this as two, let me just write it here, uh, minus two square root of five. The, both of these are fine. Um, and they wanted, what did they want here? Sorry, uh, the coordinates of a. They don't just want x, they also want y. So we need to find y, here it is here. y is equal to minus x, here's x, so minus four plus, uh, let's go with square root of 20 for the rest of the question, but, but you can have different things. Uh, plus this, plus another three, plus three. Let's clean that up and we would get minus one, minus four plus three, plus square root 20. So uh, the final answer, let me put it down here, would be just the x and the y. You get full marks already though, I think. Uh, four minus, uh, sorry, square root uh, 20, and minus one plus square root 20. If you want the point B, you could go ahead and put in um, the, the four plus square root 20, and I think it works out the same except with a minus here. Anyway, this is the coordinates for A. This is A. It's a messy coordinates, but it's just like any others. It's just a lot messier. Okay, uh, let me clear off some of this. I'll keep some of the answers and we'll do part C. Okay, for part C, it's actually quite straightforward. They simply want us to find the equation of the tangent of A. Do not panic the fact that A looks like this. They told, they've told us that the gradient of this line, the slope of this line is one. We have the point on this line. We can get the equation of this line. It's just like any other question. Again, you can use whichever formula you want. I'll go ahead and use uh, y is equal to mx or one x, or yeah, let me write one x plus some c, we don't know. To find this c, we just put a point in y and x in. So let's put that in. Instead of y, I'm gonna put minus one plus square root 20. Instead of x, I'm gonna put four 
minus square root of 20 plus c. Uh, c is the only unknown. Move everybody over to the left, we'll get c equals. Uh, let's see, 4 comes over, we get minus 5. W minus 1, minus 4, minus 5. Uh, minus square root of 20 becomes plus square root of 20. And we have two of them. Uh, 2 square root of 20 equals c. Our final answer then would be y is equal to x. I'm just writing this line again. Instead of c, I'm putting what we know. Minus 5 plus 2 square root 20. Um, again, remember, we could have had a different answer here if you want. Uh, t another 2 comes out of this and we could have 4 square root 5. Same thing. Or I guess, uh, I guess you could have, um, you could put this in, I suppose, and we could have square root 80. All these should be fine. Although I think the most correct is this one down here. So sometimes the exam can be, they want you to have it in the smallest form possible, which would be this. This would be the most usual way to write it. Sorry, I just, I just left it like this the whole way through. Okay, I hope that answers everything. Um, yeah, I just double checked uh, the question. That does answer everything. Um, thank you for watching. That's the last question in the whole exam. Um, I hope it helped. I hope this question helped. Or some, hope you got something from my channel. Thanks for watching and have a good day.